Hello, this is Jasun Okroho from Scatterwork to talk about an issue that should be simple but that frequently causes a lot of effort and frustration. How to schedule meetings across time zones. The first guideline is to recognize that scheduling is an iterative process. So that means messages come over and back and it requires quite a lot of messages to find the exact time. This can't be done instantaneously. People who sit in the same office, they say yes, no, check that out and so on. But when we're working in a distributed environment, it takes longer for the process to take uh, place. In addition to that, we have to treat it as a process, not just as something that happens in the background. Guideline number two is to use a scheduling tool that converts time zones automatically to find possible meeting times. If this is done, then the individuals get uh, suggestions and they can read them in their own time zone. It really is not practical to send things, are you available at this time zone and so on. Uh, it just takes time to check it. And then of course, if there are errors, the meeting doesn't take place. The third guideline is to offer as many time options as possible. If a very limited number of options is sent out, we find that no solution emerges and then we have to repeat two or three days later. So it saves time just to do it at the beginning. The fourth guideline is to broadcast the options in as far in advance as possible. I've seen situations where people need three or four meetings over a period of a couple of weeks, maybe done maybe six weeks in advance. Uh, people always have their diaries full closer to, 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 to the current time. So by going out as far in advance as possible gives a better chance of finding workable times. Guideline number five is do not allow individuals to dictate their preferences before starting. If they do, then that limits the choice that is set up and the process doesn't start. It's much better to try and recognize these, but not to force it on the system and offer lots of options. It may turn out that most of the people are available for a particular time and uh, we have to go back and negotiate. In fact, not even the boss should be allowed to dictate times at the beginning. It should really be done on an open basis and that we find works best. When we send out requests for availability, we should have a time limit on the reply, for example, 24 hours. Otherwise, people will come back four or five days later and undo the effort that you were putting into the scheduling. Guideline number seven has already been mentioned in passing is that if we look at the feedback from this process and find most people are free for a particular time, we can go back and ask the other person, are they really, really not free at, at the given time? It might have been a preference rather than an absolute. For example, people don't like to work late at night, but obviously if they're in an airplane, they usually can't talk. Guideline number eight is to close the process and say, right, this time was decided and then send out a separate invitation with that time. And this will make sure that it shows up in everyone's calendar with their time zone. So there you have it. Treat setting up meeting as a process, do it over a longer period of time, use a tool that converts time zones and insist on having a wide variety of options. So I hope that works for you. If I can help you in any way, please feel free to contact me. Thanks very much.